Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game six in this Clan War series. It is gonna be that blue Protoss player if you guys have been watching and um, watching consistently these games in order. I apologize for game one and game two. I know the microphone was bad and I did not use my laptop microphone. I actually had a cardio microphone or actually not cardio forget the word right now but it, it is like a $90 $100 microphone I think I was just speaking too closely to it it's not my SM58 with a pop filter so anyways let's get away from that and into the game here we see a blue Protoss player spawning on the bottom left hand side I originally wanted to say that this map was crossfire um, and it is crossfire it just I just couldn't tell by looking at the mini map on the top right hand side it is going to be a red protoss so it, this is a protoss versus protoss mirror match and whenever i see a protoss versus protoss mirror match i i'm a little bit excited because i haven't cast one in a little bit of time but at the same time i know i know i know i know that and the builds and the builds are pretty much going to be a mirrored right now we see an early gateway coming in from actually no this is not going to be a mirrored build at all it's going to be an early gateway of, i believe this was a 10 or an 11 gateway coming in from the blue protoss player so that means that he will be able to get up his cybernetics core slightly faster and then get that warp gate tech slightly faster will it be able to a turn into a victory is the key question as I believe he should be behind in terms of harvesters actually no he is not behind in terms of harvesters having the same exact amount of probes as his opponent so the blue with a slight a slight advantage now as perhaps we will see a little bit more chrono boosting coming in in just a moment and we are now going into a cybernetic core here delaying probe production now as we now see over here that pylon coming in 16 or what 16 over 26 compared to 17 over 18 the cybernetics core now warping in down over here both sides trying to execute a very similar strategy with varying build orders so this is going to be interesting and seeing who's going to come out ahead zealots now being trained cybernetics core a slight advantage for blue as we now see a probe come inside this base and take a look around the cybernetics core down over here should start researching that warp gate tech as soon as it is ready the probe has come in and now going to do a quick circle around and very nice to see that the blue protoss player opted to oh is he going to actually try to do a gas block there as a the zealot now trying to make their way in the probe going to finally warp in there as we now see that this probe is doing a block as well by parking this probe off over here this probe is actually blocking the assimilator from being warped in now are we going to be getting up a stalker yes a stalker should be coming in as well is the blue protoss player gonna um, do a full assimilator block here as we now see a zealot making its way off to the north this probe pretty much not sure what to do any longer a stalker about to pop out here an additional gateway now being warped in as well as zealots are battling it out in the middle of the main field the zealot joining in and now there is a probe joining in on that fight the probe may be able to get in a little bit more damage as well as you now see the stalker trying to chase after this probe that probe running for its life as the engagement oh a stalker now coming in and what is happening here a zealot both sides losing a zealot and now stalker is going at it head to head who's going to come out ahead here as probes perhaps going to start joining in on the battle and where is this stalker going the stalker now being forced to run back home you can see three warp gates about to be completed warp gate tech about to be, be completed as well back over here you can see this fourth warp gate will be a little bit delayed as we now see a double pylon warping on the high ground probes now coming in it looks like there are going to be two stalkers here as the probes now trying to engage against these stalkers the stalker now attempting to run away as far as it can go getting some easy damage onto those stalkers as the probes what is going to be happening here we are now warping in four stalkers and these stalkers are going to be able to fight back against all of these here and now a really strong execution by the red protoss player here as the probes are also joining in on the fight four stalkers versus three all this just because one gateway has not yet upgraded to a warp gate just quite yet the probes able to get off a quick kill there as the stalkers now continue to chase more probes trying to engage and zealots now being added to the group as well as the stalkers need to pull away and the zealots are going to start going up against those probes Stalkers now engaging down over here, going to chase into this position. A Zealot now being warped in as well. Zealot's trying to get in position, but now being forced to fight up against those probes. There are still four Stalkers against three 
and a lot of probes though, and the probes and the stalkers, who's going to come out ahead as more stalkers still warping in? Stalkers continuing to engage, the lower hit point stalkers being very, very smart to run all the way back, but there is the GG, so a very quick game here on Crossfire as the red Protoss able to pull ahead with the victory over the blue Protoss. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, hope you guys enjoyed this game here on Crossfire, stay tuned for game 7.